Hi, it's Nishant here once again with a new video. In this video, I'm going to talk about data structure and algorithms, and we'll be covering topics such as what is data structure, why data structure and algorithms are important for placements, how to master data structure and algorithm for coding interviews, and how to approach and optimize our data structure problem. So let's get started now. And the first one is what is data structure? Data structure is the way of storing and organizing data in the disk space of the computer in a way that the data can be retrieved and used easily. So anyone with good understanding of data structure can organize and store data in a proper manner. Data structures are the crucial part of many programs or algorithms of a computer application. Algorithms are nothing but a set of rules or logic used for solving a problem. When you are developing an algorithm, you should aim to develop in a way that it should consume lower memory space and lesser time to execute. The efficiency of an algorithm is determined through time complexity and space complexity. Time complexity is nothing but the total time required by the program to run till its completion. Space complexity is the amount of memory used by the algorithm to execute and produce the result. So now let's move on to the next one. Why data structure and algorithms are important for placement? Top tier companies like Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Google, etc. have been working day in, day out for improving user experience and managing data most effectively. That is where data structure and algorithms come in. They are the key building blocks of important algorithms. So in order to develop an efficient product, data structure and algorithm skills are must. And that's the reason why interviews conducted by product-based companies are centered around analyzing candidates' knowledge of data structure and algorithms. They look for candidates having a strong grasp of algorithm skills. Data structure are used in all area of computer science, such as artificial intelligence, robotic, graphics, operating system, etc. And with rapid evolution of technologies and an increasing amount of data, they will never go out of demand. They not only help you landing a high paying job, but also help you to sustain and do well in your current job. All right, so let us now discuss how to master DSA for coding interviews. So now we know that data structure and algorithm is the most important subject for placement in IT companies. To learn DSA, there is no shortcut or easy way, but there is definitely a smart way. So let us discuss smart strategy to learn data structure. There are many topics to learn. So I would suggest to divide your DSA journey into three phases. In this phase, you can start covering fundamentals of the following data structures and concepts. Understand the concept of algorithmic complexity, that is time complexity and space complexity. Arrays, hash table, linked list, stack, queue, sorting algorithms, and standard binary search. In order to learn each of these concepts, instead of going through online articles, I would suggest to study from some comprehensive book. These online articles are mostly scattered and incomplete. And if you really want to use a website, then you can use Geeks for Geeks. It has a large amount of quality content. There are a bunch of courses as well, which you can take online. You can check platforms such as Logic Mojo, Udemy, Coursera for these courses. So to begin with, take one topic at a time. Learn the theory part first and try to understand basic operations such as insert, delete, search and its complexity. Learn advantages and disadvantages. Study its applications and understand about memory allocation. Once you are comfortable with everything, start practicing and solving problems on online platforms. The more you practice, the more you learn. Coding is all about more and more practices. One should solve at least five to six problems from each topic to have a significant control over the topic. For this, you can use a book such as Cracking the Coding Interview. It features nearly 200 programming questions and solutions asked by Amazon, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, etc. 
There are many online resources as well with a huge list of problems that you can practice. And they are lead code, hacker rank, interview bit, and code chef. You should also work to optimize your code and compare with the solutions of the same problem people have given on these platform. Now let's learn some advanced topic in this phase, such as trees, backtracking, graphs, dynamic programming, and greedy algorithms. So you need to learn theory first. And again, I would recommend the book for theory instead of online articles. Once you are done with theory, start solving problems from online platform. You can follow the same process as you followed in the phase one. Now, once you are comfortable with all topics, do take part in contest held on Code Forces. It is a website that hosts competitive programming contest and programmers from every corner of the world participate. They will help you improve your speed and confidence. Remember, if you want to master DSA, you have to practice on a daily basis to build and improve your confidence. Now coming to the next one, how to approach a DSA problem and optimize. First, give yourself enough time to clearly understand the given question. Now break down the question, figure out the data structure you are going to use. Now write down a pseudocode in a simple English, then replace the pseudocode with a real code. Now try to find a room for optimization. Estimate the time and space complexities. Check for any repetitive or unnecessary loops and check for extra step or function you can take out. And that's all about my take on the subject. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you and see you next time.